form at this time. He has the fastest two mile in the United States this year of eight minutes, 34 and two ten seconds against the very hot Kerry O'Brien who easily defeated teammate Ron Clark last week and Ron is the world record holder in this event at Portland in the three mile race in 13 minutes, 11 seconds flat. There's Kerry on the right of the picture. Right next to him is Jerry Lindgren wearing the uniform from Washington State University although he has now graduated from the Pullman Washington Institution, one of the most popular athletes ever to represent the United States. Jerry trying to recapture his good form of last year. This is a well-stacked field, very good talent, and the competition here should be excellent. Moving out now into the lead is Frank Shorter, who trains with teammate Jack Batchelor at Gainesville, Florida. They represent the Florida Track Club. Barry Brown is running in second. The bearded Ray Hughes in third. Carrie O'Brien, then Jack Batchelor on the outside. John Lawson, Jerry Lindgren, and Chuck LeBenz. A very good two mile field here. So this is Frank Shorter moving out into the lead, handling the pace at this time. Frank has made a marvelous improvement over the last 12 months, when he came to Yale, he had never broken 10 minutes for the two mile, only ran 9.45 as a frosh. Didn't score a point in any important competition until his senior year, but under coach Bob Giegengack, developed into the NCAA six mile champion in his final season last year. So the time at the end of the first 440, 65 and 3 tenths seconds. Ray Hughes, the leader. Ray formerly ran for the University of Arizona. Now this is Bachelor in second, Shorter in third, O'Brien on the outside in fourth, and Brown, Lindgren, Lawson, and LeBenz. Kerry O'Brien now moving up to take the lead, and so he does. Kerry O'Brien, who was pointing for just one month from now, for the British Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh, Scotland, where he hopes to annex both the 10,000 meter and steeplechase titles. He was fourth in the steeplechase at the Mexico City Olympic Games in 1968, but in the last year or so has really shown himself to be outstanding in the two mile to three mile distance. And now let's go down to the field. This is Tim Valma, who just returned from Via Reggio, Italy, where he was all-service champion in the discus. Varma, formerly of Oregon State and formerly an NCAA runner-up, will throw the discus 200 feet, 6 inches, and finish second place. World record holder and two-time Olympian L.J. Sylvester, who has won every meet on our tour thus far. Sylvester in good form. Oh, and he lets it fly. The Spanish Forks, Utah resident produced a good series and achieved the best of 209 feet, 9 inches to win the competition. Second, went to Tim Valma of the Army, 200 feet, 6 inches. Third, to Gary Ordway of the Striders, 197 feet, 5 inches. And now let's go back to Dick Bank and the two mile. Six minutes, 35 and 7, 10 seconds, the time at a mile and a half, that lap run in 67.5 with O'Brien, Shorter, Bachelor, and Lindgren still the order of competition. Lindgren trying to recapture his excellent form he showed last year in Stuttgart when he upset uh, the German Jürgen Mai in 1338.4 for 5,000 meters. Jerry holds the American record for that event at 1333.8. He now works for an insurance company in his hometown of Spokane. At Washington State, he was the NCAA three and six mile champion three successive years and formally co held the world record for six miles at 27.11.6. And Ron Clark said on Monday that if Jerry could just shake the uh, injuries, the tonsillitis, the ulcers, the Achilles tendon, and so forth, that he could still realize the, the great career that uh, he was destined for. Now the bell for the final lap. And O'Brien in the lead. Lindgren moving through on the inside. Goes past Shorter and Bachelor into second. 
that lap run in 66.3, so the time of the lap to go, seven minutes and 42 seconds, and here's Linwood going after O'Brien. Bachelor picking it up in third, and Shorter still moving well in fourth. Down the back straight. O'Brien on the inside, Lindgren on the outside, running stride for stride, and what a two mile race this is. Bachelor and Shorter still with something left, but they're gonna have to move to catch this pair. 220 yards to go. And here is O'Brien in the white, Lindgren in the all red. And whose race is this going to be? The last 110 yards are gonna tell it. Jerry Lindgren, the great tenacious sprinter, Kerry O'Brien in the best form of his life. And they come off the turn, and it's O'Brien on the right. Lindgren on the left, now O'Brien with the slight advantage. Lindgren's still after him, but it's Kerry O'Brien. He's going to win it. O'Brien the winner, Lindgren in second. Frank Shorter gets up to be third, and Jack Bachelor fourth. What a great finish to this two mile race. And there is Kerry O'Brien, Adelaide, Australia, outgunning Jerry Lincoln down the stretch in a marvelous exhibition of two mile running. That's distance running as it should be done. Here is that great finish once again. Kerry O'Brien on the inside in white, Jerry Lincoln on the outside in red. And O'Brien, with all his strength and determination, pulling away from Lindgren to win this race, timed in 8 minutes, 41 and 2 ten seconds. Second, Jerry Lindgren timed in 8.41.4. Third, Frank Shorter, 8.42 flat. And fourth, Jack Bachelor, 8.42.4. The last lap run in 59 and 2 ten seconds. How would you like a tire that grew up in the toughest neighborhood in the USA?